Absolutely. So when you have um, traditional, we call it classical cryptography, that's based on values which are ultimately stored as zeros and ones, individual bits of information on electric charge. Uh, when you're talking about post-quantum computers, which is the heart of post-quantum cryptography, the big difference is that all of a sudden you're not limited to just zero or one for your values. You can have multiple values simultaneously. What this really means is that a particular problem such as solving a maze or coming up with the factorization of very large prime numbers, which can be very, very difficult for classical computers to do because they have to execute one set of instructions at a time, becomes theoretically much easier for a quantum computer to do because a quantum computer can ultimately take what appear to be for example, in using a maze analogy, solving every path at once. The way to think of those paths is to think of values that are stored in what are called qubits. So the zero and one that I described for classical computing is called a bit of information. A qubit of information, on the other hand, can have multiple values simultaneously. And the power of a quantum computer really can be determined by the number of qubits that can be processed by a computer chip simultaneously. So the more qubits you have, to use my analogy of a maze, the more paths that can be solved independently at once. Triple cyber, triple enabling the internet.